Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. It's late. Maybe you should go home. I'm not tired. Guess neither are you. You should stop drinking, Lieutenant. It could have serious consequences for your health. That's the idea. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. It could be a software problem that only occurs under certain conditions. Well, that's just a fancy way of saying you have no fucking idea. It could be a hardware problem. Maybe a defective biocomponent? Well, I don't know much about biocomponents, but... I bet that's not the fucking reason. We know the Deviants experienced an emotional shock, a violent trauma, or a sense of injustice. Well, those girls at the Eden Club sure had a reason to feel a sense of injustice. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls. They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? They didn't want anything. They're deviants, end of story. What about you, Connor? You seem troubled, Lieutenant. I didn't think machines could have such an effect on you. What about you, Connor? Nothing in their program allows them to love or desire anything. They're machines. What about you, Connor? You look human. You sound human. But what are you really? I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. 
I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. I know why I exist and who designed me. I have a reason to live. I guess that's the difference between us, Lieutenant. You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? I would have shot them if I could. Why would I let them escape? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. But are you afraid to die, Connor? I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. Why would I be afraid? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am, and what I am not. I doubt there's a heaven for androids. Having existential doubts, Connor? Sure you're not going deviant too? I self-test regularly. I know what I am, and what I am not. You know you're not going to shoot me, Lieutenant. You're just trying to provoke a reaction. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disappoint you. You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Nothing. There would be nothing. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. Did you feel anything when you shot those two girls? Fucking bastard. Or were you just executing some program? This is going nowhere, Lieutenant. I think I'll go back to the station. I'm glad to see you taking an interest in machines, Lieutenant. Who knows? Maybe you'll even become useful to the investigation at some point. All I did was neutralize two machines, Lieutenant. I didn't hesitate for a second, if that's what you're asking. I did what I was programmed to do. I didn't have any doubts, if that's what you're asking. I could kill you, and you would just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? Why would I be afraid? What'll happen if I pull this trigger? 
Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. <laughs> 